MindTrack Open Mind, an international forum about the future of open source and open data, began on Tuesday in Tampere, Finland. The three-day event sees professionals from more than 15 countries discussing how businesses and organizations can benefit from open solutions, software and data freely available to everyone. What is MindTrack all about? MindTrack is a 20-year-old conference about digitalization, digital media and digital content and what new things the uh, future brings to the society. How do you see the future of open source and open data globally? Uh, do you think we will see more and more people and businesses and uh, organizations adopt these kind of open solutions? I, I think uh, we are now in a transition that the closed source and closed data is moving towards the open in all the domains. For example, this year in Mindrek we have uh, people from Music and Media Conference discussing about what's the role of open data in the music business. So I think that's a very good example of how things are changing in the world. The most uh, closed business like music is moving towards open source. Open source and open data are gaining ground around the world, including in Europe and Asia. Companies in various industries hope this can help reduce cost and create new business opportunities. Jarmo Puskala is the community manager for Iron Sky, a comic science fiction movie production that has benefited from crowdsourcing, crowdfunding and open source solutions. Film production is, is kind of uh, difficult at uh, most of the so-called standard uh, um, systems that you use, the software, the cameras, they are usually proprietary, but uh, we have been using a lot of open source technologies uh, online uh, in our websites and, and uh, crowdsourcing sites and and uh, the software side of things especially when when we are online that's that's where they really shine even on the camera side uh, the open solutions are becoming more uh, more and more used and people are starting to see that having open standards and open technologies can benefit everyone because it makes things uh, more efficient Besides businesses, a whole range of different organizations are showing interest towards open source solutions. Luciano Amenti, chief information officer for the Vatican Library, has been leading the digitization of thousands of old manuscripts. He says that open source does not mean it's not as good as closed proprietary solutions. How do you see the role of open source and open data in today's society? I hope that will be the main role. We try to do. We uh, we use an Adobe file system. Adobe is uh, open source for management, very big one, say it. And then we use it Linux. We use it Fits. Is it not important which hardware do we use? The philosophy that everything will be power suits engineering or apply. That will be the future. Cannot to increase a big one project in something that will be coming from a company. Everything that is important for humanity will become from humanity people. For governments and public institutions around the world, adopting open source solutions and making data available to the public can be a matter of increasing transparency and promoting a level playing field for software providers. Earlier this year, the European Commission announced its plans to increase the role and usage of open source software. Uh, so we have um, created a new strategy th uh, that was published at uh, the beginning of this year. And uh, this new strategy wants to uh, show that there is a level playing field for open source in our procurement and also ask us to um, contribute more to the the software that we use. We use a lot of software in the data center, on the office automation platform uh, for collaboration and also everything that we produce for interoperability purposes that we disseminate through Europe is produced under the AUPL which is an European public license so uh, in open source. And so we really want to, to contribute more than now uh, to these communities. Judging by the discussions at MindTrack, companies and organizations are seeing the value of open source solutions and how these can be applied in their everyday operations. 
Whether the same will be true for individual consumers remains still to be seen.